Oh, I don't know what you did with your posture, but that's a way better posture than I've seen you have in a while. Your back is very straight there. Well, you know what I'm working on when I do those uh, swing those uh, clubs? Yeah. Uh, Telling you what, that's a nice. That's that's nice, especially for someone that doesn't. Um, you still do all your. Uh, what are you doing now for exercises? Uh, well, you know, usually I'm doing uh, like uh, I do Roger Fredericks. Uh, Good. Every I do that pretty much every day, uh, and then uh, I'll do flexor three days, and then the speed swing speed three days. Good. All right, so for me, it's the same. The thing, the thing that I want to get out of your swing is you're in early extension. Your shoulders are too level. But I think that's just physical issues with you. I don't yeah, think there's any... I gotta get a, uh, hip replacement. Yeah, so I'm not going to... I think, you know what? I, I'm not going to worry. This is more early extension than I've seen in your swing. Yeah, yeah I see that. Um, so that's why you're hitting those hit heel strikes. And you can even see there, yeah. that one's on the heel. See that right yeah, there? Yeah. That's about three or four yeah, inches. What's the best to stand further away from the ball? Yeah. You know, right now, I'm, right. You know, um, the one thing I want to check is the body track. I want to see where your weight is going on your swing. It looks to me like you're loading your left foot and your weight's going to your front of your feet. Because your your hips are moving probably an inch toward the ball. See that line I drew? As you finish the backswing, you're moving forward. The, the left knee is moving inward. And like I said, I don't want you to think about any of this when you're playing, but it goes in pretty far. Yeah, and that might, well, just more this way and less this way. You have a little bit of a reverse in your pelvis. You sort of do this. So this knee kicks forward, this hip kicks forward, and you sort of do that. Um, which Hogan had a little bit of a reverse pivot. So, you know, people that say, oh, that's a bad swing fault, I don't agree. Um, and there's a lot worse things and there's also how your body pivots some people pivot around their left leg some people pivot around the center and some people pivot around their right leg so it, it's it, it, I don't I, the more I teach the more I realize it's yeah you can see watch this box as I as you go back you can see this because you sort of load into that front foot well there you go to the right interesting there's a lot of giveaway. I can see this. there's quite a bit of movement. Yeah, in your yeah, there's a lot of movement in your knees. Yeah. So part of that I think is though your back. I mean, something's got to give. You know, when you twist and your lower back is fused, so you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to turn your your hips and your your lower back. I don't want it to arch. Are you are you feeling like your core is activated when you set up? Well, you know when I set up, for sure. Yeah, and then when you swing back, so like, like you're doing a like a little tuck of your pelvis inward, like a, like if I said do a little mini crunch, I don't want you to do this. Watch. See how my lower yeah, back. No. Uh, uh, I don't think I could do that for a moment. Yeah, probably not. So yeah, I mean. That's good. It threw the ball. Let's take a look at how much movement, if your head's moving in front of the ball or front of the original position. That's pretty, yeah, pretty good, actually. You're not in front of it. Okay. That looks all right. Swing plane wise. Yeah. I mean the only thing that, you know, that I want to change is how you how you impact the golf ball. Yeah, it's early extension. It's feeling it. I, I can't say as I'm going through that and I can't feel that I'm going forward. So 
So what I want to do, don't worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put you on that mat there, and I just want to see where your weight goes. Uh, no. I'm uh, happy with what I'm seeing here. Your numbers are good. I just want to see if there's a way we can eliminate some of this early extension. I think that if we get your weight moving from the front to the back on the backswing, it'll eliminate some of the early extension. Um, I, I, it looks to me like, and I can't until I get the mat up. It looks to me like you're loading your heels. Yeah. Yeah, but I, until I get quantitative analysis. We're just getting...